As we looked at early trends at the beginning of the pandemic, we recognized three key ways we could help people and businesses and shifted all of our work to focus on them. First, keep people safe. Second, bring people together. And third, support businesses and creators. The value that people got from Instagram and the way they interacted with others changed dramatically, almost overnight. We had been focused on before might not be as valuable to our community anymore. So we abandoned some plans, accelerated early concepts that were already in progress, and developed new ideas to serve the world's new needs. You'll see some examples of this work reflected in the ways we approached our three key priorities. The first was to keep people safe. We helped connect people with trusted health resources through messages at the top of the feed and through search results in Explore. We also launched wellness guides as a new way for creators to curate content around well-being and mental health. Our second priority was to bring people together. Instagram Live became an important way people could connect in real time when they were apart. In Korea, we launched Live in Your Living Room to bring K-pop stars, including Henry and Na Fla, and world-known famous pianist, Sung Jin Jo, into your living room in real time. We launched tools like the Stay Home sticker for people to share what they were doing at home when everything was shut down. And in Korea, we saw people building the most powerful community bonds during the hardest times through hashtag campaigns such as Thank You Delivery Man, Corona Donation, and Thanks to Doctors. In recognition of Mental Health Awareness Month in May, we worked with the Korean Red Cross and Korean illustrator Lee McYoung to create a Give Thanks stories template to give people a way to express gratitude to those who were there for them through this difficult time. We also saw Korea-born Delgana Coffee gain worldwide recognition as recipes went viral on Instagram, as well as virtual picnics. People were seeking connection during this time, and these trends quickly brought people together and spread warmth that helped us all cope with this scary new normal. Our third priority was to support businesses and creators. More than ever, Instagram and Facebook became indispensable tools to businesses of all sizes, and small businesses in particular. Small businesses have always been core to Instagram. But we wanted to do everything we could to help them during this difficult time. 90% of people on Instagram follow a business. And what became clear during COVID-19 was that people were looking for ways to support small businesses directly on Instagram. Recent surveys have shown that since the beginning of the pandemic, People are spending more time on their mobile devices and have an intention to shop from new businesses and shop more online in the future. Instagram will be an important channel here. So we introduced new tools such as gift card stickers and food order stickers to give people more ways to support the businesses they love 
We partnered with local food delivery businesses, Bay Min, Yogi Yo, and Honeybees, to make the food order sticker possible. We also aim to spotlight local businesses through virtual small business festivals, which we organized with partners in places such as New York, London, and Germany. We hope to do more of these to help people discover local businesses from their living room. We have entered into an unprecedented period of economic recovery. And it's never been more important for businesses of all sizes to establish a digital presence. We want to empower small businesses to look at Instagram as an invaluable tool that can not only connect with their existing customers, but reach a global audience of people eager to discover their next favorite business. The power of Instagram to grow businesses on a global front can aid in the uphill battle of economic recovery, especially with consumers intending to spend more time online and do more online shopping. We will continue to introduce new tools and programs to support this. This includes local training programs, including Instagram Academy, a training program for young entrepreneurs we plan to bring to Korea before the end of the year. We'll also build programs to get people excited to support and amplify their favorite businesses on Instagram. In fact, this week, we launched a campaign to encourage people to share illustrations and messages about their favorite small businesses. The campaign kicked off with this beautiful illustration from Korean illustrator Hee Yun Lee of the storefronts of three neighboring businesses in Jeju that are special to her. Laba Books, Hiker House Vovo, and Ba Gyeong. We can't wait to see what the community comes up with. The World Knowledge Forum.